How's it going, fellow foodies? Welcome back to Foodie Friday, the show where we make anime and video game food come to life. But today, we're gonna be tackling one of Soma's first dishes. Yes, we're talking transforming rice. And look, I, I even have the manga today, so we actually have the recipe, which, you know, of course, we're gonna modify. If you're new to the channel, get subscribed, hit that bell, check out the links below where you can become a patron and pick up your very own Chef PK kitchen notebook to write down all of your favorite recipes. Let's make some chicken stock. So according to Soma's recipe here, he actually shows that he uses chicken wings, sesame oil, some diced spring onion, that's gonna be garnish, and a few other things here for the actual stock. Now, here's the thing. It was actually cheaper for me to get an entire chicken than it was to get some chicken wings, so we're gonna use an entire chicken and break that down. He also uses bonito stock, which the waifu doesn't like, so we're gonna make our very own chicken broth instead and reduce that down into our jelly aspic. So the final result should look the same as it does in the manga, but it will taste slightly different because it won't have that bonito stock. Now for your chicken, I always start by removing the chicken breasts first and then the back, so that way it's a little bit more stable. So now we have our chicken cut up. I didn't actually go with an eight weight cut. An eight weight cut would just involve realistically removing the leg from the thigh right here. And you're gonna go ahead and have an eight weight cut with these chicken. The reason why for that is because I'm actually gonna sear off all of this to get a lot of nice caramelization and flavor into our stock pot and then remove them and deglaze the pan. And we're gonna save these for later. So as far as I know for this recipe and what we see in the book, he doesn't actually say to season this, but I'm gonna go ahead and season it. They just tell you to sear these off with some sesame oil. Get a nice size stock pot. Mine can fit quite a bit in here, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add my sesame oil list over like a medium high heat. And we're gonna start searing off the chicken into this and then remove it once we get some color. And we're gonna finish these later. After a few minutes, go ahead and turn the chicken over to get the other side nice and caramelized so that way we can get a nice sear on both ends. Now this is about as far as I'm gonna take these. I'm gonna go ahead and remove these and place them onto a little bit of aluminum foil just so they can hang out and we'll finish these later. Now we're gonna sear off the rest of our chicken and this is actually just gonna stay in here. We're not gonna be removing this. So go ahead and take your entire carcass, start getting some color on that bad boy. So now we have some beautiful color on our chicken. For that, I have some one whole yellow onion, a good handful of peppercorns, I'm also gonna hit this with about three ounces of soy sauce and about three ounces of mirin. What you're looking to do is really just deglaze the bottom of this pan. That may happen very quickly for you like it did for me. There's nothing at the bottom of this pan. Now I'm gonna let this sake reduce just a touch before we hit it with our water. Now that my little bit of base is reduced, I'm gonna hit this with cold water, just enough to come about an inch or two over the top of that chicken carcass. The goal for this chicken stock is really to get it reduced enough to when it cools down, it turns into that gelatinous state. This means we're gonna have to reduce this for a very long time. So uh, grab your favorite book and hang out. I think what's really cool about using an entire chicken carcass and a whole chicken is that we do have all of this chicken available to us for later. So yes, we are making Fotokaki transforming rice, but we can elevate it a little bit by utilizing the rest of our chicken and plate it up with that transforming egg rice. So while that stock is reducing, get your chicken in the fridge, let it hang out until you're ready to start serving up dinner. It has been about four hours on our stock and it is nicely reduced. I brought this down quite a bit because we only used a little bit of that chicken carcass. I really wanted all those flavors to come together. So you can see most of our liquid is gone, but now what we're going to have to do is strain this into another container and let it cool down completely. You're going to want a nice shallow pan for this, just so that way when you cut into the gelatin itself, you're going to have really nice small cubes for when you dump on top of your rice. As far as this carcass goes, there's still actually quite a bit of decent meat on here, so uh, feel free to pick through it. Oh, that's good. Okay. Typically with broth like this, I'll let it sit overnight, but since we're in a hurry, I'm gonna toss this into the freezer for just about an hour, see if it starts coming together. Maybe let it sit a little bit longer in the refrigerator so that way we get it to congeal, so that way we can have it ready for dinner. <sighs> It is now the evening, and uh, we've been waiting for this stock to set for quite a few hours now, but let me just show you what it looks like. 
So this has only been a couple of hours and you can see it hasn't fully set. It's kind of getting there, but it's not there yet. But here's the thing with timing. I do have one more in the freezer that's almost perfectly set. I have my rice going. We're gonna cook off some of that chicken. We have some guests today, so that way we have some chicken ready to go with this rice. Make our eggs last minute, cut the jelly last minute, put everything together, and hope for the best. So get your airline chickens nice and seared off and pop them in the oven. Crack all your eggs from your omelet and give them a good forking. I also made a cucumber salad real quick as well. Pull this out of the oven and let it rest a bit before we cut it. So our chicken's out of the oven and now we have our chicken stock. It's nice and solidified. You can see it's still a little springy, which is great. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it in this and we'll take it out when we need it. Now, while our chicken is resting, we have one final step and that is to make the scrambled eggs. That was awkward. Plate up time. And this is the first plate up of the furtokaki gohan. And I think we're gonna go with this and then plate up how I would with all of our chicken. Don't worry, this is for the waifu. We'll, we'll make our plate later. It's probably really hot, hold on. Are you gonna blow it off for me? <laughs> <laughs> so how was it? Oh! What is, what is happening? So she turned into a Disney princess. Wasn't expecting that one. Where's my dingle popper? There's no dingle poppers here. That was in your mouth. <laughs> The eggs are creamy. The sauce is all melted. The chicken stock that we did is kind of coating the rice now. That's, oh my God. I'll see you guys later. I mean, this is all well and good. Let's do another plate up. After I eat this, this is really good. There's a lot of rice in here though. Now we're gonna plate up for the waifu and one of our friends. Let's do this. And there it is guys, transforming rice chef PK style. And I will say it's a nice little plate. You have a little bit of chicken on there. You have your eggs, you have your gelatin and you have the nice hot rice with a little bit of cucumber salad on top. And you're gonna have some really great flavors behind this. But this isn't even for me. I'm just gonna have a rice bowl. If there's one thing I could change with this recipe, I would more than likely allow for that stock to congeal just a little bit further. I didn't wait long enough. I only had a couple of hours. I'm gonna let this go overnight and try it again. But if your stock comes out too thin, you can always try something like chicken feet or just adding your own gelatin to it. But being able to just spoon a little bit right on top, covering the rice makes it really, 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 really nice. What's your favorite way of having chicken? A little airline breast goes a long way and it tastes so clean and perfect. If you wanna support the channel directly, check out the links below where you can become part of the Kitchen Brigade and pick up your very own Chef PK notebook. You can fill it up with all of your favorite recipes on the fly. My name is Chef PK, bringing anime and video game food to life. Get subscribed and remember, keep playing with your food. I could just throw some mayo on this. I'm good. Okay, kids, your food is ready. Come hither. <laughs>